a story even begins, before a single word is spoken, it's the title that sets the mood. Cinematic titles are more than just text. They create atmosphere, they build excitement, and they pull the audience right into the world you're about to show them. In this video, we're going to break down the secrets behind creating cinematic title animations, step by step, inside After Effects. So if you want your projects to look more professional, more powerful, and truly cinematic, you're in the right place. After a long time, welcome back to S Graphics. Let's get started. Create a new composition. I will name it text slash logo. Width and height will be 2160 by 1140 and frame rate will be 30 and 15 seconds long duration. Here I am using Rumble Brave font. Download link is in description. Align it to the center. Create a new composition. Comp name will be text beveled. Drag the text comp into the timeline. Go to the layer style and add inner glow. Open the inner glow and set blend mode to normal. Opacity to 100. And select black color. And change the technique softer to precise and size to 12. Create one more composition. I will name it shiny text. Add new solid. Name it fractal. Go to the effects panel and search for fractal noise and apply it to the fractal layer. Open transform and unlink uniform scaling. Set height to 4000. Click on stopwatch for offset turbulence. Go to the last frame and drag the offset turbulence value. And here we have this simple moving animation. Now drag the text bevel comp to the timeline and change the fractal layer track mat to text bevel. If you can see track mat option, click F4. Now add CC glass effect to fractal layer. Open surface and change bump map to text bevel. Set softness to 5. Height 85. Displacement to negative 500. Open light setting and set light intensity to 250. Light type to point light. And light height to 6. Add one more effect C C lobby lies. Open blobbiness and set blob layer to text bevel. Set softness to 10. Cut away to zero. Open light properties and change light type to point light. And change the light position by moving this point. Now create a rectangle and cover the bottom half. Add Gaussian blur to it and set blurriness to 200 and set blending mode to overlay and lower the opacity. Now it's looking good. But here we get this blurred shape out of text. So for fixing this issue, change shape layer track mat to text bevel. Now we will give an animation to the title. So select fractal layer. Click on stopwatch for contrast and brightness. Make sure time indicator is at zero frame. Press U to reveal keyframes. Go to the four seconds. Add keyframe. Come to the first keyframe. Increase the contrast. And lower the brightness until title is disappears. Select this keyframes and hit F9. Here we get this cinematic revealing animation. Now add adjustment layer. Apply curves to it, and let's increase contrast by this RGB curve. Looking nice. Make new comp, I will name it Particles. Add new solid. Add fractal noise effect to it. Change fractal type from basic to terrain. Click on invert. 
set contrast 150, open transform and uncheck uniform scaling, set scale width to 400 and height to 2, add keyframe on offset turbulence, go to the end, then drag the offset to the right, go to the start, Add keyframe on evolution. Go to the end and set evolution to 3. Add turbulent displacement effect. Set amount to negative 45. Size to 180-200. Add keyframe on offset. Go to the end and move this point right. Make duplicate of solid. Change amount to 45. And blending mode to add. Now press U to reveal all keyframes. Click on evolution here. And increase the evolution. Open transform in effects panel and increase the height. Now make final comp. Add new solid. It will be background. Now place this shiny text comp to the timeline. I think we can make it better. Go to the shiny text composition and drag this contrast keyframe forward. Looking nice. Now adjust the scale. Make duplicate. Select the layer below and add CC Radial Blur to it. Set type to Fading Zoom. Set amount to negative 30. Add Curves effect. Select Alpha Channel and drag this to upper left corner. Then select Green Channel and bring this down. Select Blue Channel and do the same. And here we will get this red color only. Now select RGB Channel and bring this down a little bit and bring this up. Make one more duplicate, reset the curves and this time drag this point to the bottom and in alpha channel, tweak the graph like this and we will get the shadow behind the text. Now I am changing the layer color so it will be easy to identify the layers make one duplicate of top layer and add Gaussian blur to it and set the blur amount to 100 change lending mode then add levels and move this points here and this one here now select this three layers below the top one and parent it to the top one then select top layer and press S and add keyframe on scale property go to the end and scale it up so we get the simple zoom animation. Now drag the particle comp to the timeline. Rotate it and place it here. Add Bezier warp and warp it like this. Add curves to it. Make duplicate of this and change blending mode of this to add. Select the top particle layer and warp it. Now change the color of particle layer. Add new adjustment layer, add curves to it, and tweak the curves like this. Add new solid layer. Name it blur map. Add gradient map to it. Change ramp shape to radial ramp. Place this point at the center and this point here. Now add curves to it. And make curve like this. And hide this layer. Select the adjustment layer. And apply camera lens blur to it. And in blur map, select blur map layer. And in source. Select Effects and Masks. Increase Blur Radius. 
Now add one more adjustment layer. Add curves. And make curves like this to increase the visibility. Add brightness and contrast. And click on stopwatch to add keyframe. Go to the end. Lower the brightness to negative 150. Increase contrast. Add curves one more time. Add keyframe here. And go to the last. And drag this point down. So everything turns into black. Place this keyframe here. And here we have fade out animation. Here's animation is completed. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, give it a like, drop a comment, and don't forget to subscribe to S Graphics. See you in the next one. Till then, stay creative.